So that. So welcome to a quick tutorial on how to use DALI 3s in painting in their new update. So if you don't know, essentially there is a new update where you use this in painting feature, you select an area, and then you can pretty much edit an image. Previously, I had already used this to add some pretty cool glasses to this pretty cool looking Hyrax, and I think it came out pretty cool. But let me show you guys exactly how you can do this from scratch, and of course how you can get your very own picture of whatever it is that you want. So one of the first things you're going to want to make sure you do that is that you're currently using GPT-4 because this is the one with DALI 3. So you don't want to use the default GPT 3.5, be using GPT-4. Next, we're going to make an image of something. So let's say, let's make an image of a cartoon cat. So we're going to go ahead and put that in and then we're going to wait for DALI 3 to give us the image. So you can see right here, we've got this lovely image of this cat. Now, what you want to do is click the image. Then in the top right, you can see that there is a select tool. This is where things are going to get interesting. All you want to do now is you want to use this to determine how big your brush is. So essentially what you have at the top left is you have a brush size slider. So you can make this bigger or you can make this smaller. So let's say for example, once again, I wanted to add some sunglasses. I would then adjust my brush size to the size of the eyes. I would then go across the top area like this. Now that I've got this area selected, you can see that it is now highlighted blue. Once this area is highlighted blue, this means that I am about to change things that only exist in this region. We come to the bottom right with ChatGPT, then we state, can you, then we state, can you put sunglasses in there? And you can see that, can you put sunglasses in there? We just give it to ChatGPT, we press enter, and then now all we have to do is wait for it to update the image. Now, this may take a moment, so give it 20 or 30 seconds. Now, one of the things you might need to do with ChatGPT is if you are covering a bigger area, providing ChatGPT with a lot more context is really useful. You can see here that when I did this the first time, it didn't actually work several times. That was because my brush size wasn't that big enough. So for example, if you're trying to do an area like this and you want to give it an additional feature, if you do something that that's small, ChatGPT might not recognize your selection. If you want something to be pretty accurate, what you're gonna wanna do is use a bigger brush if you don't get it right the first time, then cover the more of the area so it has context of the image and then ChatGPT can understand what to put inside the image because this system I'm guessing that it maybe just edits this area right here so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try something and essentially what you can also do is you can essentially edit the text so along here I'm going to put write the text Mr. Cat along the top right hand corner so now you can see after doing that we can see that it manages to add Mr. Cat in the image now something that you want to understand like I said before don't make small things like this and expect it to understand exactly what to add if you're trying to add something into the image try to cover as much of the image as possible so that ChatGPT is able to change it now with this one right here it actually did change the glasses and that might be an unintended consequence but I guess that that might be solved in future versions so just play around with that if you have any other questions don't forget to leave a comment down below and i'll be sure to respond and help you also there's an additional link to OpenAI's official tutorial that that will also help you so with that being said if you enjoyed the tutorial i'll see you in the next one